Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the new method to install IPF files on your iPhone or iPad using the updated eZine app. No P, see no jailbreak, and best of all, using certificate revokes. This is perfect if you want to install apps like tweaked versions, emulators, or any custom IPF files. Let's get started. To get started, open Safari, then go to applejar.system.io. Hit the download button Apple Jar Signer. Click Allow, then install the profile on setting. Hit Profile Downloaded and Install. As you know, many have difficulty installing a sign because all of them are revoked by Apple. Therefore, we need Sideloadly to overcome the revoke certificate on a sign. You only need one time to install this assign using Sideloadly to overcome the certificate revoke on assign. Install iTunes and Sideloadly on your Windows computer. I will insert the link in the description of this video. After that, launch Sideloadly. Then drag and drop a sign, IPF files into Sideloadly. Connect your iPhone or iPad to computer via USB cable. Then input your Apple ID and password to install eZine on your iDevice. After that, click Start. The assign will automatically installed on your device. After that, verify eZine by going to Settings, General, VPN and Device Management, then click Trust. Also, make sure you enable developer mode to run eZine on your iPhone or iPad. If you have enabled it, then just leave it active. After that, launch a sign on your iDevice. In this step, you have to import the certificate into a sign. Open the Apple Jor app that you installed earlier. Then click eSign zip certificate. Then open this certificate in eSign. Then the file will be automatically imported. Unzip the certificate, then go into the folder. After that, you try to import some certificates. You can try them all or one by one, like in this video. After the certificate is imported, it is time to reinstall eSign so that you do not need a computer anymore without revoke. Select eSign IPF files by going to Import section. Then go to Apps tab, click eSign icon, and select Signature. In this section, you have to change the bundle ID on the assign so that you can duplicate the assign that was previously installed. Just add text to the assign section to make it different. After that, go to the certificate section, then try the certificate one by one according to the certificate you have imported. For example, I tried this revoke certificate to install a new assign. And finally, click signature and install. Automatically, eZine will be installed and create a new eZine. Once the new eZine is installed, you can now delete the old eZine that was installed sideloaded. Then click the new eZine app. If you untrusted developer message appear, you must verify it first again. Go to Settings General, VPN and Device Management. Then click Trust or Allow and Restart. After restarting, you can now use a Zine without getting revoke and without computer anymore. Then import the certificate like the process that was just in this new assign. Make sure to import the certificate you used previously so that you don't need to retrust the new certificate. Now, you can use Assign and install the IPA files you want with Assign without a computer and without Revoke. That's it! Your app is now fully installed and won't get revoked if using Revoked Certificate. You can now open and use it just like any normal app. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button Subscribe for more iOS tips and tricks, and tap the bell icon so you never miss an update. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. I'm here to help. See you in the next one.